All right, now let's talk about O oh Woman O oh Why. Which was a great, fun track. I mean, uh, it was it was it was a lot different than the rest of the stuff that were in the backseat of my car and Uncle Albert and all of this these other tracks, you know, epic tracks. This was like uh, full on um, things to the wall, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> boom, boom, we were just slamming and having some rock and roll fun, which was such great fun. And, uh, you know, it was Paul and I both considered it one of our favorite tracks on the record. When I went over to visit Paul after Linda had passed away, we were, we were over at his studio in the south of England we were talking about that day, and I said, geez, you even had a gun on that track, gunshots. And he said, yeah, uh, we brought a gun into the studio to get it. I said, you never had a gun around when the drummer was there, though, did you? He said, no, no, drummers and guns are He was way more considerate than, uh, yeah. than Phil Spector when it came to guns in the studio. But, but I have uh, a beautiful video of, of me playing Ringo's kid in Paul's studio, where we're just doing that groove, you know. And he's wow. standing there just laughing. And, we just had such a great time. I, I really miss seeing this guy a lot. He was a, a big part of my life. Yeah, a huge, incredible part of all our lives. This record is the soundtrack of our lives. And when it came to recreating the gun sounds, I was trying all these different gun samples, and then you said it was a starter pistol, which is a completely different sound. And there's that famous photo of Paul with the starter pistol in the studio. And uh, it definitely is its own sound. And then also, this song came with a whole new set of challenges because Paul's 1971 voice is so incredible, the range and the power that he has screaming. And uh, originally, I actually thought it would be really, really cool to bring in a female singer on this one. And then you were like, oh, you know, Lauren Lee did an incredible job, but he wanted to hear, you wanted to hear a male voice sing this song. So we found Eric Dover, uh, formerly of Jellyfish, uh, who's an incredible singer, and he did a great job, but there were parts of it that you thought were a little over the top, and I said, man, maybe this could make a really good duet. So now, for the first time ever, there's both sides of the story, because the song's about a guy getting shot by his girlfriend. Now you get both sides of the story. So Lauren Lee and Eric Dover, I could... I can't wait to play this song live and see them both dueling on stage because it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. It'll be a, a, a real but trip. The track came out great. We had some great guitar players on the track. Joey Santiago of the Pickpies, who came up with that really cool lick at the end. J.J. Blair, uh, who played rhythm guitar. And then my friend Jimmy Powers, uh, Jimmy Powers the Fifth, who is a great guitar player from Miami, Florida, who now lives in Las Vegas, who's one of my favorite slide guitar players. And he absolutely knocked it out of the park with his Joe Walsh-inspired slide playing, which sounds great. And Will Lee's on bass, the legend. So, you know, come on. It's a lot of fun putting these tracks together. And uh, this one rocks. Sure does. <laughs> cool.